How do you like my new t-shirt? That's the only thing different about me. Ah. Achoo! Ah, don't look! <laughs> so I'm a video editing noob and I often want to stick images or text to things to make my content more entertaining. This simple ability gives me more flexibility to be creative and tell my story. The problem is I often forget how to do it. So I'm making this quick video as a reminder for my future self as well as for anyone else who wants to know how to do this and what I've found to be the simplest way possible. Let's jump right in. There are multiple ways to do this, and after trying most of them, I've found the Fusion tab to be the easiest. I still barely know how to use Fusion, but for this, I got this. First, you need to snip the clip. Oh, that sounds nasty. <clears throat> First, let's trim the media we want to track. And the shorter the better, because tracking long clips takes a lot of resources and time, and nobody got time for that. Once you got your clip, click on it and pop over to the Fusion page. So we have our clip, we have the output, the first thing we need to do is track the motion. Shift space and find the tracker, double click it and line up a good spot on your clip to track. Apparently it works based on contrast, so hopefully what you're tracking has some separation from the background. I mean, if it doesn't, just try it anyways. What have you got to lose? Once you've done that, click track forward and boom, it should look like my signature after a few brewskis when you're done. Now, we need to add an image or text to attach to the tracking. The beauty of this method is it's exactly the same for both images and text. Let's grab an image first. Find it in your media pool, drag it down, and when you add it in and join it up, you're like, hey, this should work, but it doesn't. Before it works, we need to change the tracker to match move so the image matches the moves. How does it work? I don't know, magic. All right, so now our little image is dancing around, but it looks bad. The last thing we need to do is transform the image. Transform basically means resize. So let's put this baby exactly where we want to. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's head back to the edit page and check out the results. All right, it looks awesome. And that was pretty easy, right? Let's see if we can do it again quickly with some text. Check out my new monitor. Isn't it the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? Let's add some text to the clip. So we clip it. Fusion tab, shift space, track, find spot to track, click track forward. Once that's done, we need to change it to match move. Let's add some text to that tracker, shift space, connect it. Now we need to resize it, so shift space transform, add it between the image and the tracker resize then bobs your uncle how does it look it looks sweet oh yeah you know little things like this just give us creators more tools to be creative with i often spend more time than i should be figuring out this crap so hopefully this video helps some of you out there just make a resolve playlist in your youtube and add this video to it and then watch it anytime you forget these steps that's what i'm gonna do by tomorrow i will forget these simple steps because i'm an idiot if you found value humor pity or anything in this video, please thumbs up the video so I know I did good. And please sub to the channel if you haven't already, I'd love to have ya. Plus we can chat in the comments about exciting things like tracking and timelines. Coffee? I'm not selling this channel, am I? I recently got a sick price on a used computer and monitor, like really sick. So I'm gonna talk about that as well as other gear and YouTube video making videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Dad!